I believe in taking on challenges. I never say no to my team when they want to develop something. So we are always open for it. New challenges and new design. We test each and every raw material. That's the thing. That we have to be analytics fast. We don't select outside. My motto is we offer European quality at Chinese prices. And the customers need our quality, and we cannot break their trust. If you promise a delivery, fulfill it on time. If you promise a quality, fulfill it. And our dream is to win number one company in the country. Having metallism capacitors is the mode for the industry, and it is growing very fast and very rapidly. Welcome, Mr. Sanjay, to our podcast, Legends of Metallizing. Mr. Sanjay Agarwal is the Managing Director of Globe Capacitors Private Limited. Globe is India's largest and most reputed manufacturer of capacitors used in home appliances and electronic applications. Globe's sister concern is Super Electrofilms, which manufactures metallized polypropylene film for capacitors. Mr. Sanjay has done graduation in electrical and electronics from MIT Manipal in the year 1988. He joined the family business of capacitors in 1988. He has taken training in the technology of capacitors in many European and Korean companies. He is instrumental in the exponential growth of the company. Under his vision, Super Electrofilms set up capacitor film metallizing facility. And today, they have a capacity of 2,800 metric ton per annum. He is the immediate past president of the Electronic Industries Association of India. I welcome you, Mr. Sanjay. Thank you for taking out the time to be on this podcast. Um, it's a pleasure to join this podcast and also interact with you on Twitter to learn more what new changes are happening in the world. Right. Yeah. The field of capacitors. Right. So, Mr. Sanjay, we'll start off with the first question. So, for our listeners who are not really aware of what is capacitor film metallization, can you explain what this is and what role your company plays in this industry? The capacitor, when I joined the company in 1988, at the time, the capacitors being produced all over the world were paper and oil capacitors. So, and then came plain film and corn capacitor, which were called mixed electric capacitors. Okay. In 19, early 1991 or 92, Plastic film, metalized or plastic film capacitors got introduced by the company in Europe at Korea, and then Globe also started to match import to that. The metalized plastic film helped reduce the size of the capacitor by at least 30%. The capacitor became smaller and also became more affordable because paper and uh, mixed electric capacitors were large in size. Mixed electric was a media player of for the reducing the size, but then the, the stability of quality was not there. Yes. So the metalized plastic film, this was solid, the quality was quite stable, and the sizes were reduced and the prices were the affordable. So today uh, our company is producing fourteen hundred tons of metalized film in the over a year. And we are one of the key players in our country and also export significantly abroad. Our parent company, Globe Capacitors, also makes the capacitors and they are exporting 50% of the time. Having our own metalized film has helped us in maintaining the quality of the capacitor and also monitoring the new developments. We are now free to do our own R&D inside our factories and develop new designs. And now offer to our customers low ladder, low, low flight capacitors to the PV. There are many applications which require very long life signal conditions of minus 45 degrees Celsius to plus 80 degrees Celsius. And we are able to offer those capacitors with the changing technology and with the customer I think metallism capacitors is the mode for the industry and it is growing very fast and very rapidly. You can see that today electric car is the new or immobile uh, area where you know, people are moving from induction uh, typing units to the electric cars and they require capacity. So you can understand what could the market be. The market was going to grow exponentially, but only the good metalized film and good capacitor producers will survive. That is the key point. Right, right, right. 
And uh, Mr. Sanjay, so as a managing director, what leadership philosophies do you think are crucial in this industry for success? The most crucial part is that you have to believe in your team and you have to guide them. If you are a good team leader, your team will always follow you. You just can't be hard task master when you want results, but you have to support the uh, team with, with your uh, residents and with your guidance. What will the experience, uh, what will by the use of the experience when you are unable to guide your team? You need to guide your team well and have to be there when they need your support. And I teach, I follow the philosophy that you should be honest to your customers. You give what you have promised. If you have promised a delivery, fulfill it on the time. If you promise the quality, fulfill it. Now give them the quality you know, that has been agreed. And try to represent the cost below the expected level so that the company can earn money over. No. It's not a easy, but it's a difficult task for meeting your cost, but quality and delivery. They are our forte, whatever, whenever we are promising our customers certain delivery time. We are always honored. And same happens that already, already we are always honoring. And that's what our team stands for. And well, somebody now come near for the line one team, one team, one three. And our dream is to win number one company with country and for a leading exporter and uh, have a leadership image in the world market. Right, right. And Mr. Sandhvi, you mentioned cost. So, in especially in, uh, in film metalizing for packaging, food packaging industry, this year we saw a lot of, there was an oversupply in the market and, you know, a lot of people were sitting idle. And at this moment, costs are very important. Like you also mentioned costs. So, um, what, apart from this, like, what are the challenges currently that the capacitor film metalizing is facing right now? See, so, uh, with, during COVID time, just type of COVID was a name of the art. Getting off the court, suddenly the film prices started going up and they went exponentially high. Everybody can see it was a profit taking initiative by all the people and suppliers because we can have a look at the banner sheets and we can see that they were earning more profit during the post time than the higher exactly. So, since it was like a cartel situation, so we couldn't know much about it. Then, the cost went up, the shipping costs went exponentially higher. We were paying globally $1,000 a container from China, and I have paid personally $9,000 per container for all China. Wow. Because in nine times the cost went up. Mm-hmm. So we had to also increase the cost of the bill for the customers. But then, every time whenever we approach the customer, customer wants some material at the board of and then they would take some new uh, cost. So we could earn so much during those times. If fortunately, since last one and a half year, one year or so, the amount of capacities that have been added globally for the best term. In India, there is a fraud, China, Korea, Japan. That has eased the pressure on the supply chain and the prices that are normalized. And so I done so the break from overseas to India and India to overseas. The rates have gone down and they are now at normal rates. But okay. we see today that. That there is again a development in Red Sea area, the war is going on in the Ukraine and Russia. We really see again things heating up. I'm afraid that the shipping costs will go be higher and make it very uncomfortable for all the sectors involved. Right. Especially ports to Europe and Middle East. Right, right, right. I think, Mr. Sanjay, you're right because you know we're living in an inherently very volatile world. Supply chains are constantly changing and nobody can really rely on just one supplier for everything. So apart from this, like, what other trends have you noticed in the global markets in uh, capacitor film metalizing? And how is your company adapting to these trends? I have noticed uh, the slowly and slowly people are moving towards more uh, smaller size capacitors that they can get up with. Mm-hmm. With advancement in technology, the filter which we used to use 10 microns uh, 10 years ago, we can safely make a capacitor with 7 microns. So, the uh, chain of technology, the 7 micron filter can extend that voltage, what earlier uh, 10 microns used to do. So, that has reduced the cost, uh, reduced the size. Or it, if it does not reduce the cost of the capacitor, it's taken care of the inflation so that we don't have to increase the price. But yes, the capacitor size has gone now. Secondly, we see new areas of technology like DC link capacitors or electric cars or locomotives or 
solar inverters, the power economic application. Mm-hmm. So we find this is new market, and these areas are the BC applications. So they require different kind of planning. That is challenge. And this technology is home, developed by every McLaren by himself. They are offering as a they show a made to order uh, tailor made solutions to the capacity That is not uh, widely available in the market because between price of light, plant gives a requirement and we develop it for light and new suppliers. But it is a challenging thing and it's a I'm very happy because I believe in taking on challenges. I never say no to my when they want to develop something, you'll make some money, but ultimately, if we do the efforts the right way, we'll fight in the way, and we can offer a solution, and maybe some uh, new technology or new product can be developed. So, we're always uh, open for it new challenges and new design. And the customer wants. Mr. I have a separate question. So, is capacitor film metallizing, does it fall under the category of uh, battery uh, applications or is it a completely separate topic? Because I have this, I have read quite a, a few literature on battery, but I'm not sure if capacitor falls under the same diagram. So, the uh, metallizing doesn't fall in the battery application, although capacitor, basic definition where it stores the charge. But then, it cannot store the charge for a raw the time. For that, a uh, different type of capacitor is, is being developed called the super capacitor. Super capacitor can store the charge and it is being offered, we consider as a alternative battery okay. in the market. Battery is separate, but that is also some kind of metallizing, but it cannot be done on the same. You need more modifications and it will both different the kind of charge. Okay, okay. And Mr. Sanjay, I'll just close this off with one final question. So, um, I would like to know what sets Super Electro Films apart from its competitors in the capacitor film metallizing market. We stand apart from two uh, three areas: quality, delivery, cost. We stand by the quality what we supply, and we deliver it on time, and we offer the you know the lowest possible cost. When I used to sell it, America's my capacitor and films. My motto is: we offer. European quality at Chinese prices. Right. <laughs> that is the <laughs> So that, are, that was my selling one. Well, you tell my American customers, you can get European quality at Chinese prices. And that motto started latching on to them. And then part of it in the market. We always stand by our quality and we are grown in the market. Yet we don't use substandard terms. We don't use substandard materials, consumer ones. And we always, my lab is, a, we have completely, we have so many testing facilities in the lab that I can probably say that no one has this in our country. We test each and every raw material facility that we have to be on the fast, we don't set it outside. We don't have it anymore. So we believe in the quality we want to supply and the customers believe our quality and we cannot break their trust. Our company in the board 45 years old and we don't want to make the trust what our family legacy are developed. Yeah. <laughs> stand by it. And if we can't deliver, we don't take the order. We tell the customer. Deliver it what we need. If you can be it, I'm only separate. Yeah. But we have beats in case of that. First, we try to be competitive all the time. We want to give a quality which is affordable. That's what we stand by. Right. I think, Mr. Sanjay, another thing is that you are based out of India. And India is a growing market and we have, thankfully, uh, abundance of manpower and our costs are also not as high as European costs. So we can manufacture very good quality at, at lower prices. And I'm sure your motto is absolutely, stands, stands absolutely true. And uh, thank you so much, Mr. Sanjit, for your time. It was a pleasure meeting you and having this discussion with you. You know, Rene, it was my pleasure being a part of the podcast. I've actually been the initiative here, and I wish to all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sanjay. Thank you. Bye-bye.